Hey guys, so I'm out today zeroing in the uh, the Night Tech MS42 thermal scope on my 223, and I thought I'd sort of run you guys through how I zero this. There's a few little, I guess, tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way with these things. Um, so I'm going to run right through that and show you how I do it and how to achieve results that'll have you absolutely bang on every time. Um, so. You, you don't need a lot, like I'm just zeroing off a rear bag, um, bipod. One thing I would recommend is just a notepad and a pen, and we'll get into that. With these units, when you zero and you go up in your um, magnification range to make fine adjustments, it saves those adjustments. But when you go back in to, to fine tune, the software reverts to the closest course adjustment. So that's the reason for the notepad and a piece of paper. Um, and, and we'll go in and I'll show you how I do that just to make sure that you're getting a spot on zero every time. Basically, I'm gonna start with a fresh profile, so zero it out. And I'm gonna shoot my target to start with at 25 meters. Get myself fairly close on paper, just one round. And then I'm gonna set that target back to my zero distance. With this particular rifle, I'm chasing a 185 meter zero. Um, the, the distance that you zero out at, sorry, is completely up to you. For me, I choose maximum point blank range. So I want to stay inside a three inch circle, um, which then puts me, you know, my distance at 185 meters. I can basically point and shoot on a fox size target out to 200. What I'm going to do though, is I'm not going to zero it at 185. With digital optics, obviously, it becomes increasingly difficult out at those ranges to get your zero spot on. So what I'm gonna do is, I know that my initial zero on this rifle is gonna be at 54 meters, and that's gonna give me my second zero at 185. So I'm gonna put a round on paper at 25 meters, get it fairly close, then push that target back to 54, and that's where I'm gonna zero at. Once I'm zeroed at 54, I'm gonna check it on the gong at 100 meters, and I'll be looking to make sure that I'm 1.3 inches high on the gong at 100. So that's the distances that I use, and that's gonna be rifle and caliber specific. My 243, for instance, I'm actually gonna zero at 59 meters for a 200 meter zero. So that's really easy to work out, and that's all to do with maximum point blank range. Um, but like I said, the distance that you zero at is completely up to you. That doesn't change the way that you'd actually zero the scope. All right, so I've chosen my G2 profile, which is gonna be zeroed out completely. I've got my paper target sat at 25 meters. We're gonna put one round on paper. So we're gonna take this shot at base mag, and all I'm looking for is just to get this round on paper. All right, so that was a 25 metre shot on this paper target. And you can see here, my target is really, really simple. So all I'm using is aluminium tape, so the stuff that you'd use on ducting. Um, costs you about 15 bucks for a 50 metre roll and it's basically on a paper target, um, angled back about 15 degrees, uh, facing the sun, and you get a really, really nice uh, image on your target. So, all right, so our point of impact, as you can see, down here was low and left. Now what I've done is I've got some little, basically little sticky dots that I've made, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one sticky dot there over that, um, over that point of impact and that's gonna allow me to view that in the thermal. I'm basically gonna zero for that, but I'm not gonna zero bang on to that. I'm gonna zero it off about an inch high above that because my projectile's still rising. So at 25 meters, I'm gonna come down zero for windage. I'm gonna zero for elevation about an inch above that. And then I'm gonna push this target back out to around uh, my zero distance. So for me, I'm gonna push it to 54 meters and we're gonna be pretty close at that after one round. So again, I'm just gonna use my base magnification and we can see in the image there, hopefully it comes through clear enough, but I've got my point of aim 
and we can just see that little point of impact there. So I'm going to go into my main menu, into my zero, and then I'm going to bring my point of impact down in elevation to about an inch above, and then I'm going to come right on my windage, and we're going to push and hold to save that. And you can see there, that's shifted my crosshairs back down to that point. All right, so from that point, I'm more or less zeroed an inch low at 25 meters. So now I'm gonna push my target back to my uh, true zero, which is 54, and I'm gonna zero the rifle scope at that. All right, so I've now moved my target back to that 54 meters, and this is where I'm gonna actually zero the rifle scope. So first things first, I'm just gonna put uh, maybe a three round group on paper and then I'm gonna to zero to that group. All right. So for this one, I've just come up in magnification a little bit, and obviously, you know, we're gonna to start to see pixelation as we come up in magnification, but that's okay. So from there, we're going to mark the uh, the center of that group. We'll zero to that, and then we should be just about bang on. So you can see that's our initial point of aim. That was our one shot that we zeroed to. And then our three round group up here is a little bit high and slightly left. Okay, so all I'm going to do there is put my little sticky dot over that, covering the center of that group. I'm gonna hold point of aim on this, and I'm gonna shift my um, point of impact in that zero, zero menu, sorry, up to my, uh, my point of impact on that three round group. So when I zero this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my zero menu, I'm gonna stay on this higher magnification because my adjustments are going to be a little bit finer. So we're going to come up to that heat source there and then come slightly left. Now at this point this is where I'm actually going to jot down my adjustments. So my windage is at minus 16.8 and my elevation is at plus 30.4. Now that'll just help in a minute if I've got to fine tune that anymore. So I'll push and hold to save and exit. So we've now made that adjustment and from there, I'm just going to come up in mag again. We're going to come all the way in. So we've come up onto our highest mag, and you know, we do really start to pixelate here, but we can see that foil dot very nicely. Right, from there, we're just gonna check that group. All right, so we're now drilling dead center of that target at 54 meters. And now all I wanna do is put it on the gong, so a little four inch gong at 100, and just check my point of impact on that. Should be sitting about 1.3 inches high. Um, so that, just that riding down my coordinates um, between each save saves me a lot of guesswork. So I was able to, as you can see, when the unit reverts back to um, 
that course adjustment, I was able to just go to my notes, bring it back to where it was, and then make my adjustments for there. For me, you know, I'm, I'm dead nuts now at 54. So we'll just put a shot down range on this gong. And then um, from there, we'll basically know that it's, uh, that it's gonna be right. That's it, we're on target, 100. I will go and just double check that, but it's pretty much it. It's as easy as it is. So I shot, you know, I shot a three round group and a couple of two round groups on that. Could have done that in single shots, but at the end of the day, you know, we used like seven rounds to have this thing dialed in spot on. So it's not incredibly difficult. You've just got to sit down and think about it a little bit and um, you'll get yourself on target. Um, you know dialed in absolutely bang on every time fairly easily um, That's how I do it. You know if if that sort of helps you guys just getting in just just getting onto these things fantastic if it helps some of you guys that may have been struggling a little bit that have used them for a little while uh, That's awesome as well, but hopefully that um, That just goes through the process that I use and shows you how I do it. Cheers guys